Hello everyone, this is my very first vlog post and today I want to talk about scientific notation in MS Excel. First I'll explain what scientific notation is and then I will introduce a VBA code that will basically take all the scientific notations in a spreadsheet in a selected range and turn them into number format. So let's uh, go ahead and talk about what scientific format or scientific notation is. So in this data set over here, you can see we have a total of six columns. Columns D and F, these two columns contain scientific notation format numbers. And scientific format is used to display numbers in scientific or exponential notation. And it is a compact way to display values in the same column even when the, they are very large and uh, the numbers are really long. And it basically happens in numbers that are greater than 12 characters in length. Let's go through an example. For example, let me write a... Uh, I'm just typing a number. You can see that this has shown in scientific notation over here. And that's the reason is the length of this is greater than 12 characters. So whenever we have a cell that contains numbers and the length of that cell is greater than 12, it will show in this format in scientific notation. In other words, Excel would automatically create a compact version as opposed to showing all the numbers. And let's uh, test this out. Let's put the length formula here. Yes, we can see that the length of this is exactly 12 characters. Now let's use the same thing. No, rather, let's... Uh, let's create another cell with fewer numbers in it and apply the same formula in it. So you can see this cell over here contains only 10 characters and it's also of number format, but it hasn't been transformed to scientific notation. And the reason being is the length is smaller than 12. But if we add just one more two more characters, then it will be changed to scientific notation. And if it only has 11 characters, see, it's still not scientific notation. So this uh, issue poses a problem to many people. I've seen it, this being raised m many times where people basically don't want to see the numbers as scientific notation. And uh, there is an obvious solution for this. There's a manual solution which uh, consists of, you know, right-clicking on it, going to Format Cells, going to Number, and changing it from um, scientific notation, so it's currently on scientific, going to Number, and changing it with Number with zero decimals. So there you go. Now, the, the, even despite being 12 characters in length, this is not showing as scientific notation. It's showing as number with zero decimals. However, if we go to another cell and we generate the same thing, this one has 15 characters, you can see it always, as default, it always shows a scientific notation. So now that I explained what scientific notation is, I'm going to explain a procedure for transforming scientific notation into numbers with no decimal without having to go through the data range and uh, basically transforming them one by one. Here's how it works. First, the spreadsheet needs to be saved as uh, macro enabled. So make sure you save it uh, as uh, XLSM format and not as XLS. So this way you have the developer tab and uh, you have to go to the developer tab, go to Visual Basic and uh, go to Insert Module and that will take you to Module 1 and copy and paste this code which I have also left in the description box into Module 1. So uh, this is a sub that basically does a transformation. That's why I named it Transform. You can tr name it anything else if you want. And what this does is it loops through the entire range that we selected. And whenever we have a cell that is in scientific notation, it, uh, or rather if, if the length of the cell is uh, greater than 12 and it's a number, it changes the format 
uh, two numbers with zero decimals. And this is where this is happening. Numbers to zero decimal. And it does it until it reaches the end of that range. So I've copied and pasted this code into the module one. Now I'll save and close, and you should do the same thing as well. Now the next step is select our range. So my current range is A to F, so rather A1 to F26. That's the range in which I have data. Now if your data range is greater than this, you can select the full range. So the whole point of this is to apply it to the entire spreadsheet uh, so that uh, you know all scientific notations will be transformed into numbers without you having to go into them one by one and looking at into okay which one is the scientific notation and which which columns are not so this does all the job for you and upon doing this upon making the selection the next step is going to macros and clicking on transform right here and run there you go you can see that all the scientific notation numbers have been transformed into numbers with zero decimals and uh, this is a very efficient way of getting rid of scientific notations, which is the default format of numbers that are greater than 12 characters without having to basically go into each column and first check which ones are scientific notation and then right click and go to format cells and change them manually. So this is by far the most efficient way of changing scientific notations into numbers with zero decimals. And that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next vlog post. Thanks for listening, and stay tuned. Bye.